Many of you want to know when this will be over. The truth is, we just don't know yet. This emergency is likely to go on well beyond March 29th. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. The truth is that with the presence of the new strain, we must apply the brakes to movement and physical interaction across the country. We must return to full-scale, level 5 restrictions for a period of at least one month. One whole year. Wow. Hi guys. Here we are, March 2021. Exactly one year since the pandemic situation hit us. Literally, it's been a year since the words coronavirus, masks, social distancing, sanitizers have been used on like the daily basis, pretty much. I was hoping things would have been very different and I hoped this would have been a kind of celebratory vlog of the show. I overcame the coronavirus did not happen in my country anyway we're still in a lockdown we've been in a lockdown essentially some sort of lockdown for the past one year well literally everything is still online in fact i feel like this semester is worse than my last semester because all my labs got cancelled for this semester because our lockdown is stricter so yeah no socializing which has been very difficult as someone who loves meeting people and who was really excited to come to college to meet people from different places in the world and just connect and travel and all of that. It was hard, you know? You don't even have basic things like birthdays to look forward to. You don't know when you're gonna meet people next. It's just a situation. I'm very grateful to be quarantining with my family because they kind of keep me socially sane. But still, you know, there is a sense of loneliness which I feel is normal among people right now. People have not been doing the best <laughs> mentally and it's been a difficult time. Mentally, this year has really tested my patience. It's like, I know there's gonna be a day when I get to go and meet my friends. I know there's gonna be a day when things are going to be normal. It's just that I don't know when that day is. There's just no end date. In 2020, I feel like we were kind of stagnated and just waiting for a vaccine to come. And now that the vaccines are here, it's like, when is everyone gonna get vaccinated? When is everyone gonna be done with the doses? When is it gonna be safe to move around again? When are things gonna go back to normal? When can we forget that this ever happened. I don't think we ever will. It's gonna be a part of our history forever. But when can we just move on and just live, you know? At least we have the vaccines, so we can kind of hope maybe by the end of this year, we will have some sort of normalcy, I'm hoping. I know that the UK has announced the 21st of June as, you know, the day everything reopens. And it's just like patience, resilience, obviously, crying internally but it's okay <laughs> can i get through this just like we got through 2020 time is like floating for me right now and for most people but one can just hope now, the reason why i'm making this video is just to kind of acknowledge that hey it's been a year i feel like i've grown a lot as a person and i feel like a lot of us have in that sense we kind of got a chance to stop running and take a step back now that step back We've been in this state for quite a long time, which is, I think, frustrating. This time last year, I was a school student. I was 17 years old, just finished my pre-boards, my mocks. I was gonna give my practicals for my leaving cert in two weeks time when the lockdown happened. Now I am 18 years old. I had my birthday in lockdown. I am a first year university student who's had <laughs> her entire first year online. The worst year, but okay, we're just not gonna go into the whole negative aspect of this now. Where will we be in March 2022? Because I am gonna make a video exactly like this, just to see where things are in 2022. I really hope that it kind of comes true. So my theories, for I have a feeling colleges will open up by this time next year, definitely. I'm feeling that my second year will be on campus, at least partially. Traveling will be a bit more easy than what it is right now, not as restrictive. Concerts, uh, that's a tricky one because there's so many people. I know there are loads of festivals happening in the UK around summer, so I have a feeling that concerts might reopen by September, October, which I'm very excited for because I have like three pending, so... I have a feeling that Christmas parties and New Year parties will actually happen properly 
this year with you know friends and family and you can actually just go and hug people because i know for a fact that i'm gonna hug absolutely everyone <laughs> when all of this is over and just like not let go and be like it's been such a long time i missed you i know that australia and new zealand opened up so happy for them partially jealous but it's okay <laughs> a lot of countries are like opening up but it's still a bit risky, if that makes sense. And I hope that we can come to a place where it's not risky even after opening up and meeting people. Yeah, time will tell. It's just a waiting game at this point. I'm still trying to actively not be upset about the fact that we're still in the same situation as we were. Obviously I'm human, I've had my decent dose of mental breakdowns at this point and there's like so much anxiety towards the future like we've had so many jokes among college students that I might as well just get my whole degree online and like see each other for the first time at our graduation so yeah a bit unrealistic but at the same time if things really don't work out that could actually happen but I just want to say that I'm trying to stay in the moment as much as I can which is like why I'm actively just avoiding any sort of planning into the future maybe just the month or the week and that's about it so I hope you guys are well and I know that the pandemic has affected so many people in so many ways I'm very sorry if anybody you know has been affected by the covid virus and it's it's been difficult for a lot of people in terms of jobs and finances and all of that and i hope this year is a bit of a better year there's gonna be a day when this is over i hope you power through and continue being the amazing human that you are you will get through this we all will there's gonna be a huge party when this is all over where will we be in march 2022 only time can tell and till then stay tuned thank you so much for watching and bye